What's happening, guys? I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I had a great Thanksgiving. Now, it's going to be a jam-packed show today. Lots of content. Lots of news. Before before we get started, I got to say that I cannot guarantee that this type of content will stay on YouTube forever. If it does get censored, you would always go to my website, maxfreedom.news. It's always going to be there. There's not... There's nothing YouTube can do about it. There's nothing the SJWs can do about it. There's nothing no one can do about it. I am uncancelable. All right, so let's start with the news. We are going to start with Twitter. Yeah. Woo. Uh, Jack Dorsey, the one on the right. Well, it looks like he's no longer the CEO. The guy on the left is now the CEO. His name... Um, well, shoot. I don't know how to pronounce his name. How do we pronounce that name? Paragagarwal. Paragagarwal. Wait, let's listen to that again. Paragagarwal. 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 Wait, let me do it. Paragagarwal. Paragagarwal. No, wait, hold on. Let's try it again. Parag Agarwal. Parag Arg Okay, hold on one second. Let's let's really bring this up to the next level. Parag Agarwal. Parag Argue Argular. That's his name. Parag Agarwal. Parag Argue Pargaragular is now the new CEO. Of Twitter. And, um, well, let's just take a look at stocks. This is an interesting photo right here. Okay, so see that big giant peak? That was Monday. And then, after they found out that Paragagular is not a fan of spree, uh, free speech, the stock market just crashes. So, we do not know what the future holds for Twitter because they are going to start censoring everything. They're going to start deplatforming everybody. They're probably going to be offended that I can't say Pargaragar. What's his name again? Pargaragar. Paragagarwal. Parag. Parag. Iagargar. That is a really terrible name. All right. Let's get into some really random, bizarre news, shall we? Um, so the, there was an actress in Hollywood who became a male and, uh, the media is just like, like going all crazy over this, this lady's, uh, or this man's body. And uh, I don't see anything special about it. Let's take a look. Okay. So look at this CNN entertainment writes. Elliot Page posts impressive six-pack on Instagram. And it's, uh, I don't know about, man, man, it's not, anyone's going to get a six-pack if they starve themselves. And, uh, they, this person barely has any biceps, barely any leg muscles. It's just, um, this is not even mediocre. This is like, I don't even... There's nothing impressive about this. All right. Now, on to the next news. And that is, um, liberal areas are just getting hit with what's called flash mob robberies. So, like, 80 people will just storm a store and just steal every, everything. And the owners are just like, I don't know what to do. They can't do anything because it happens so fast. So, yeah, it's insane.
the Fairfax District, barbed wire and barricades are being put up at the Grove after the LAPD says more than a dozen people looted a Nordstrom by smashing through a window with a sledgehammer last night. Several cars took off after the robbery. Police caught up with one of the vehicles after a pursuit through South L.A. You see what they found. It appears to be stolen clothes, a cash register, ski masks, and gloves. The crime level is getting so bad in these areas that it's, it's hitting the wealthy people. Like this headline, for example, wife of music ex exec uh, Clarence Anvent shot and killed at Beverly Hills home. As you can see, the front window looks like it's smashed in. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, hey, that's why we support the eh, the eh, and we go like this. You in our house? We're going to shoot your ass. And then the bad guy goes, oh, and then he dies. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Australia. Australia. I have a hard time saying Australia. I have to say Australia. Australia is going into full blown tyranny. Now you got these COVID camps. And if you have COVID, you're going to the camp. And if you don't have COVID, well then, you're going to the COVID camp. It's horrible. It's a horrible feeling. You feel like you're in prison. You feel like you've done something wrong. It's inhumane what they're doing. Like you, you are so small. You, they just overpower you, and you're literally nothing. It's like you do what we say, or you're in trouble. We'll lock you up for longer. Yeah, they were even threatening me that if I was to do this again, we will extend your time in here. So, so what's do. what's the go? So this, I'm going to give you a warning, yeah? It's an official warning that you have to stand above and obey the rules while you get, yeah? And that's, we have to go to the rules again. I don't care. So am I allowed to go to the background. laundry? You're allowed to go to the laundry, but you've got to wear a mask, yeah? Yeah, right. Yeah. Eh? And you definitely can't go up the fencing route. So you're allowed to go to the laundry, yeah? That's always been the case, yeah? Right, so if I was sitting just here, which is right near the fence, why are these guys in a cabin that's right near the fence? It makes no sense, does it? Yeah, but you can't leave your balcony to go to the fence to talk to somebody else. That's just obvious, yeah? So if I was Again, on that it balcony... Make sense. It is. We always say there has to be lines everywhere drawn, yeah? And one of the lines is you cannot leave your balcony and you cannot go to someone else. Where it makes no sense, where it doesn't seem right to you, that is the line, and that's what the law is, yeah? And that's how it goes, yeah? The law. Well, the show direction. There's a law that says show that. Show direction, yep. There's a show direction, yeah? And how the behaviour must be done, especially in this area, because it's much more highly infectious and likely to have infected people, yeah? Highly infectious when all of us people are negative. So, so far, the risk is still very high, yeah? Yeah. Just while you're here, can we just do that? Otherwise, the next time it's a $5,000 fine. We don't want to do that. It's a $5,000 fine, $5, fine if what? If, if you breach again. If if I walk out onto that path. Without your mask on, for no reason other than the wrong If yeah? I cross that yellow line. The rule, saying that you've broken the rule. You've... That I've broken the rule, I will be issued with a $5,000 fine. That's correct. Right. Okay. I could have, we could even do that now, but we're giving the warning first. Have a chat with you because... It's a big fine. I'd rather just do the right thing, yeah? Like I said, I'm not here to fight with you. Yeah. I don't want to fight with you. Yeah. I just want everybody to do the right thing, and yeah. unfortunately, it's my job to make sure they do. I don't care the ins and outs. I've got nothing to do with me. I'm just here to make sure the rules are here, yeah? yeah? Oh my gosh, I just really hate watching these videos. They just make my blood boil. I don't know how you guys. Ah, how have you guys not started like a revolution already? Like, screw that crap. Screw it. I don't know what these, I don't know what, I don't know what's going on with some of these nations. It's insane. Let's watch this next video. Oh, okay. So this next video is about a manhunt because a couple of people escaped that same camp and they're like, we need to find these people and put them back in the camp. It's really stupid. Good morning. We start with breaking news out of Darwin where three people have escaped from the Howard Springs COVID quarantine facility. Talia Sav is there for us. Talia, good morning. There's a search underway right now. 
Yes, that's right, Davina. Good morning to you. We've been told the trio scaled the fence in the early hours of this morning. Police receiving reports around 4.40 a.m. Now, major police checkpoints have been set up around Howard Springs for the past several hours. As you can see in these pictures, they've been conducting thorough searches in car boots, checking vehicle registrations, cars and buses alike. But in the last half an hour, what we understand is they've actually been dismantled. Exactly why? That hasn't been confirmed. Hopefully, good news. We're also not sure yet who these people are connected with, whether it's a repatriation flight or those Aboriginal community members who have been staying here following the Catherine Cluster. Davina, what we do know is that this is definitely going to bring this gold standard facility under intense scrutiny. On Sunday, we had a man escape and found on Darwin's party precinct, and this latest situation is only going to put us under the microscope further. Not good news. OK, Talia, thank you. F all of you. It's just like, screw you. My gosh, the world has gone mad. And then in Germany, people are getting beaten up because they're outside and they haven't been vaccinated. It's, it's like we've gone full blown. <sighs> Dude, I don't know, man. It's not the virus that scares me. It's the reaction to the virus that scares the shit out of me. It's the people that scare me. It's it's the exact same in the zombie apocalypse. In a good in a good zombie apocalypse movie, it's like the zombies are scary at first. But after a while, you realize it's not the zombies that are the true threat. It's the fucking evil, greedy people who are still alive that are the threat. They're just power hungry. It's like we're in a soft core walking dead movie where everyone's acting like they're Negan. Nah, wanting to bash people's heads in. Another stupid news. We're talking about LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. Okay, LeBron James. LeBron James convinced something real fishy going on amid... COVID absence. So, <laughs> if you're not familiar with the story, LeBron James was fully vaccinated and uh, he got COVID and now he's out like he can't play like games for two weeks or something like that. He's got to be on lockdown. And he put out this tweet. He's all like, this is this is LeBron James. He's He's got the little emoji like, hmm. And he goes, something is real fishy going on. It's like, LeBron James, we all knew something really fishy was going on. Way before you supported communist China, you bitch. <laughs> Fully vaccinated, Dana White contracts COVID-19. Takes same treatment as Joe Rogan. And he's, quote, feeling like a million bucks in less than 24 hours. And the media just loses it. But what's interesting is that Dana White and his family was fully vaccinated. And they still got COVID. So would you look at the, would you imagine that, man? Holy moly. Guacamole. <laughs> Let's talk Alec Baldwin. Baldwin? Is it Baldwin or Baldwin? Or Bolin? Bolinlin. Alec Bolinlin. I'm going to call him Bolinlin. That sounds awesome. Alec Bolinlin. Anyways, he shot and killed a woman on set because he's a dumbass. Um, and uh, he claims he did not pull the trigger. It wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So no. you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. I, I think back, and I think of what could I have done. Number one, you could have checked the bullets. Number two, don't point the gun at someone. And number three, don't pull the trigger or don't do anything that would make the gun go off.
All right, as you as you know, YouTube removed the dislike count feature. You could you can still dislike videos on YouTube. You just can't see the dislike count. It just says dislike, and that's it. Well, someone made a plugin for browsers. You install this. It's very easy to do, by the way. You install this uh, this plugin, and then you can see the dislike count. And boy, oh boy, this movie right here, the preview of this show, got, pfft, look at that dislike count. I bet you it's higher right now. This was from yesterday, by the way. It's got 97,000 dislikes. The Santa Inc. Man, people are not happy with this one. And that does it for the show. I got nothing else. I know the whole and Andrew Cuomo thing, CNN, pfft. Fuck CNN. I don't, I don't need to deal with CNN anymore. And then we got the, uh, you know, what else? There is another one. Oh, the abortion debate. <sighs> I'm not getting laid anytime soon. I don't need to fucking worry about the abortion. Break. All right. So anyways, uh, anyways, uh, everyone's is, uh, it's the uh, freaking holidays, man. Have a good time. You know, dance a little, all that stuff. Okay. We're going to end the show with a beauty shot. It's a beauty, eh?